Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to tell you why a helium balloon rises in air, of course. So, first of all, there is a principle, we call it Archimedes' principle, but we don't have to remember things like that. What we're interested in is things that float. Why do they float? Well, first of all, if I put a piece of wood into some water, then obviously I know the wood will float. And the question is why? And the answer is that water pushes up on the wood because the wood pushes aside the water. If the wood pushes aside the water, it has to apply a force. That force forces the water out, but the water therefore for tries to force its way in. And the balance of these forces is what makes something float. Obviously, if there's a very heavy object, the force from the heavy object is much greater, and the water isn't able to push hard enough, and therefore cannot keep the iron afloat. So, what we see, however, is this can be described in terms of density. A less dense object, wood's density is between about 0.4 and 0.6, depending on the wood, I've put it 0.5 here. So wood's density is less than the density of water. So the water pushes harder than the wood does. And therefore the wood floats on the water. Now if I apply the same reasoning to my diagram here, air. You can't see it, but it's there. And helium, you can't see that either, but that is there too. The helium is inside the balloon. The air is outside the balloon. So the weight of this object, this is less because helium is less dense than air. Air contains oxygen and nitrogen. These are big molecules and they take a lot of space, but they also are much heavier. So they are much more dense than are the helium molecules. Helium is a very small molecule, a very light molecule. So here we've got a very light molecule. You could also say hydrogen, but hydrogen is a bit dangerous because hydrogen and helium are the two light gases. Helium is, uh, helium is not uh, reactive. Hydrogen explodes if you put a match to it. So here we have the solution. Air is much more dense than helium, so the helium acts just like the wood and floats up in the air. And of course, there's no surface to the air because the air goes on more or less to the edge of space. So that is why a helium balloon rises.